happen approximately a few in July of next year, but I mean, just when he goes to Argentina, which uh, as we know, he comes from there, he will announce that he will resign. Uh, so, I mean, this uh, has been confirmed by two different sources within the Vatican. Uh, I went especially to Rome to hear in closed doors what they had to say to me. I believe these sources are credible because one is a personal knight of the Pope. The other one works together with the Je I mean, I think that this information is pretty correct. It seems like uh, I, when I asked them why is the Pope resigning, he said he has accomplished his mission for the New World Order. From 2016, the New World Order at that point is already in a process, you know, is already launched itself with 2030, with the whole thing we have seen uh, just with the Pope going to the U.S. and everything else. So it seems like he has done his job and then he wants to retire. That, I mean, it's very hard for him. We saw how fatigued he was when he was in in Philadelphia. I mean, he was really going along with this leg very much in pain. So he's really working for the New World Order until he, he is capable. And then he will Because retire. it's about removing the power of the Pope and the Catholic Church. Yes. It's about well, whether it was good or bad. It's about seeding it out to the globalist, bringing it down, breaking it down, breaking its will, using different cults, different secret groups to take it over. Uh, clearly, that's what's happened. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. And why wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt might get you punched in the face. They thought it said Hillary for President. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to, to punch you in the face. Since you're wearing a Hillary for Prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. Hillary for President! Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. Thank you. Have a Donald Trump endorses Hillary for prison. Get your Hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt at the InfoWars store. And on the back, it says legalize freedom. Show your disapproval of Hillary by buying your t-shirt today. But what she's done is criminal. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. In The Matrix, Neo is offered a choice between a red pill and a blue pill. And you know, every time we have a major election, we're offered the choice of the red pill or the blue pill, the Republicans or the Democrats. Nevertheless, we never wake up to the false promises behind those two things. And I want to talk about both the House Speaker race as well as the presidential race. The first Democrat debate, of course, will be tomorrow night. It'll begin about halfway through our normal nightly news broadcast. We will stay with it through the entire two hours along with our commentary as we did during the money bomb. But I want to focus first on what's going on with the House race, because we know that uh, Speaker Boehner is being pressured out by those in the party that are dissatisfied with the fact that he's governed exactly like the Democrats. And they had an election that was going to start. Nevertheless, when Boehner's handpicked candidate bowed out, even though there were two other candidates, they just suspended the election. Does that give you an idea about how the House is really being run all the time? Isn't that a problem that both Democrats and Republicans should have a problem with? Regardless of their philosophy, do they really want this kind of a dictatorship? And of course, 
The elections will not resume until there is another candidate that is suitable to Boehner. It's not going to be an election. It's going to be a selection. And the person that he is trying to get to run is now Paul Ryan. Of course, we're told that Paul Ryan is very reluctant. He really doesn't want to do it. He's having his arm twisted. But, you know, maybe for the greater good, he'll jump into the race. You need to understand how they're gaming this, but you also need to understand where he's coming from. Not only John Boehner, but Kevin McCarthy and the person that he replaced as number two, Eric Cantor, they're all on the same page with this global agenda, a global agenda of open borders, of Obamacare that was part of it. You know, this is Paul Ryan was the vice presidential candidate for Mitt Romney. Regardless of whether Romney had won or whether Obama won, we were going to get the same prescription of open borders, of Obamacare, and this is what we're having now with these trade agreements. Look at what Paul Ryan did just a few months ago. Here's an article from Breitbart. Paul Ryan's Pelosi-esque Obama trade moment. It's declassified and it's made public once it's agreed to. Remember, she said, uh, we're going to have to pass it to find out what's in it when she's talking about Obamacare. And so when he's talking about what the conservatives like to call Obama trade, and I don't like that name, by the way. We shouldn't say that this is Obama trade. This is global governance. It's not about trade, and it is not coming simply from Obama. This is something that Republicans want just as badly, if not more so, than Obama. So don't call it Obama trade. Understand this is global governance. That's what Senator Sessions told us when he looked at the uh, plan in detail. And we need to understand the contempt that they hold the public with. Now, this is Senator uh, Re Re Representative Pete Sessions, not Senator Sessions, but Pete Sessions, a congressman who supports the global governance treaties. And he said this, he says, I've watched you talking to Paul Ryan. I've watched you do this and working with us, whether it's a request from the U.S. Senate that it was done on a bipartisan basis or whether it be one of our members. You've talked about all these issues, foreign policy, dispute resolution, climate change, sovereignty, immigration, currency, transparency, fast track and presidential power. You know what? That pretty much sums up what this globalist agreement that we're not allowed to see, even a week after it's supposedly finalized, we still can't see it, but it hits all of those things. It's dispute resolution. In other words, making the corporations the same level as government or higher than government, climate change, sovereignty, open borders, all of this. And then at the end of that compliment that he got from Representative Pete Sessions, Paul Ryan says, oh, by the way, TPA, that's the Trade Promotion Authority, that's the fast track. He says, it's declassified and made public once it's agreed to. Well, he said that about four months ago. Now they have finalized it. We still are not allowed to see what's in it. But one of the things that's in it that really rankles conservatives is the open borders possibility of the trade and services agreement. Because understand that when they created fast track, when they took the Senate out of the process, the constitutional process for passing treaties, when they streamlined this, when they set this up without any amendments, it's not just going to be the Trans-Pacific Partnership. It's not just going to be the Transatlantic Partnership. It's also the Trade and Services Agreement and many other things that can come down the pike for years. They've given it a six-year window, so this president and the next will be able to essentially re-alter our entire sovereignty, our trade, many different aspects by executive order. But the thing that the conservatives are focusing on, of course, is a Trade and Services Agreement. And this essentially allows the president in the name of service uh, agreements to open up the borders for vast immigration. Another article from Breitbart says that Numbers USA president says that Paul Ryan is terrifying. He says the open border seeps out of every pore of his being. And they go through a long history that he has had, going back to the mid-1990s when he worked to water down strict immigration limits in a bill. Or when he was a staffer and worked for Jack Kemp and Sam Brownback, both of them were a part of the Republicans' pro-immigration wing. Then as a congressman, he voted in 2002 for legalization. He praised the 2006 Senate immigration bill, backed by Bush. He co-sponsored a 2009 Democrat bill that would have legalized immigrant farm workers. So he is supported by Luis Gutierrez, Mr. Amnesty. He is part of the global governance cabal that rules the top of both of these parties. You need to understand that. Open borders, and so-called open trade, that is all about erasing national sovereignty, just as we pointed out at the beginning of the show. There really is no difference between the Republicans and the Democrat leadership. We have an opportunity right now. If you get involved, you can perhaps get somebody in with the House Freedom Caucus. They are working together, trying to get a real conservative, a real alternative 
to this kind of leadership that we've seen from both the Republicans and Democrats. But there really isn't much difference at this point between the leadership of the two parties. And they're incredibly phony. You know, there's this article that came out on Rolling Stones just a couple of days ago. There is no real Hillary Clinton. And they talked about how she just announced her opposition to the Trans-Pacific Partnership. And they said, well, you know, she's also said that uh, she opposes it just like she says she opposed NAFTA, even though, uh, even though her husband passed it. And she and Barack Obama campaigned against it. And then they proceeded to do nothing at all about it. She's also said that she opposes the uh, Keystone Pipeline. And yet, in the Obama administration, she, her State Department and Hillary Clinton were the only ones on the Democrat side who were championing the Keystone Pipeline. I oppose it not on environmental reasons, but because it sets up a transnational corporation, giving them the powers of eminent domain to take the farmlands of people that they're going to run this thing through. That's the connecting uh, backbone between all this, the common thread that ties all this together. The fact that she works for the people who want a globalist crony capitalism. And so they say that uh, Hillary Clinton reinvents herself constantly. As Rolling Stones put it, to the casual observer, Hillary Clinton has been refit, redesigned, and rolled out as many times as the rumors dogging her for 20 years. It's absolutely innervating. People aren't meant to be relaunched as often as phones. And they say, the more you begin sentences with, to be perfectly honest, the more it sounds like everything else you're saying is a lie. Now, today on the Drudge Report, they had a picture at the top. Uh, Drudge put a picture of Hillary Clinton, and she says, I'm really not even a human being. And, of course, uh, this was a video interview that she had where she was saying, actually, I'm just a robot, joking about that, trying to sound more human by saying that she's a robot. You know, she's not artificial intelligence. Uh, she's just artificial. That's her biggest problem coming up into the debates. But it looks like uh, she's pretty much rubbed this off on her daughter. Look at this video yesterday. Has your mother ever told you that you're the daughter of Webb Hubble and not Bill Clinton? I am so proud to be my parents' daughter. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. One more quick question sure. about this book right here. Sure. Uh, you say it's targeted towards teenage girls? It's targeted actually to kids, girls and boys. Would you say that Bill Clinton also targets teenage girls, except for sexual reasons? Uh, I would say my book is really resonating with kids. So it should be interesting tomorrow night to see if she can come across as a real person. We know that NBC has been doing their best to try to make her look human. Saturday Night Live did an extended uh, spot with her trying to humanize Hillary Clinton. But we'll see what happens tomorrow night in the debates. And we're going to be covering that, as I mentioned at the beginning of the segment, here on the Nightly News. Our first half hour will be news, and then we will jump into the debates and cover that for the next two hours with our comments. Of course, they are desperate for someone else. Uh, maybe uh, Joe Biden will announce during the debates. Maybe he'll announce immediately after in order to steal their thunder. We'll see what happens with that. Join us again tomorrow night for that debate as well as the nightly news. And if you're not a supporter of Prison Planet TV, please become a supporter. Your subscription helps to pay for this operation, helps us to get this out and you can get the nightly news every night as it happens. But again, join us tomorrow night and we'll have an extended coverage of the Democrat Party's first debate. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA, so it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. 
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.